What's up guys, welcome back to our channel. My name's Brent. And I'm RJ, and today we have another detailing video that we're bringing to you. We actually had a car donated to us to clean up and get sold. Uh, so it's actually not as dirty as some of the cars that we... What was that? Dude, I have no idea. Oh no. Oh god. It's... it's the, the Dirty, dirty Dudes. dudes. So as you can see, the Dirty Dudes did a number on the interior of this car, and we have some serious work cut out for us. Between the mud covering the back doors and the seats, to the fire extinguisher powder, Coca-Cola Mentos geyser, and mixed Stinky Twinkie, this one is going to take some time. So while RJ's taking the seats out of the car and carefully getting some of the mud off the doors and carpets, I have a challenge for you guys. You've been absolutely killing it lately on our videos, so we want to see if this one can hit a thousand likes. Just take a second and hit the like button for us, and if we hit our goal, we'll let the dirty dudes out of the trunk again in a future video. Also, make sure you guys stick around till the end of the video, because I threw some bloopers and extras in that I think you'll get a good laugh from. In order to make sure we didn't smear the mud into the upholstery, we tried to lightly vacuum up as much as we possibly could before the extraction process.
So next we brought out the Mega Blow Boy to go ahead and blow out all the cracks and crevices of all that fire extinguisher powder to try and make it easier to vacuum up. Before we went and hit the plastics with our interior cleaner, we busted out the McCulloch 1275 heavy duty steamer, which works really well to just loosen up all the gunk and grime on the top layer of the plastic before we went ahead and wiped it down. Also, you can find this steamer along with most of our other products in the description below. We finally have our consumer grade products, which we believe are better than our professional grade due to the concentration levels and the overall quality. This Griot's interior cleaner is great for pretty much every surface in your vehicle as it contains no dyes or additives that could discolor your interior. You can also use this on the headliner and carpeting for spot cleaning.
A great use for your steamer is to blast hot steam into the vents because the steam ends up cleaning all the stuff that steam cleans <laughs> that comes out of the steamer where it produces steam. <laughs> But in all reality, using steam to clean out your car's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system is a great way to kill viruses and bacteria that may be lying within. So one of the new products that we're using is our 3D upholstery and carpet shampoo at a dilution ratio of 16 parts water to 1 part soap and it cleans and deodorizes all the fabrics within the vehicle. And also we should mention that we're only using hot water in our extractor so that it penetrates and breaks down dirt and grime easier and removes all the soap from the fabric. We use the drill brush to agitate the soap to break down the soil and grime in the seat further and then use the spray and suck boy to finish the job.
And after we're done extracting the seats, we like to use our Griot's interior cleaner and a soft bristle brush to get into those spots that we couldn't reach with a microfiber towel and clean it all up.
We also just wanted to point out that you guys might notice some random black spots on both the carpets and the seats, which are not dirt, but they were damages from before we got the car. We tried to move this little pink stain with the extractor and steamer, but unfortunately we weren't able to.
So these floor mats got absolutely destroyed and we figured the best plan of attack to get them clean again would be spraying the extractor soap and following up with a thorough pressure washing and then going back with more soap in the drill brush and getting as much water sucked up as possible with the extractor. As for all the door jams, we hit them with our steamer and then used a microfiber towel to clean them up and then put back in the seats. The window reach tool makes it incredibly easy to clean the corners and edges of the front and rear windshield. Also, our favorite window towel is a CarPro window polishing towel. It's absorbent and rigid, which allows even pressure when wiping and leaves a streak-free finish. So when the plastics are all clean, we like to use our 303 UV protectant, and it'll make any surface look really good in your car, but for some reason when you put it on tan surfaces, it makes it look amazing.
As you can see, we're wearing different clothes because it's now day two of this detail. Uh, unfortunately, we had a surprise visit from the dirty dudes, Mick and Bert, uh, and they really screwed us. Yeah. But if you guys liked seeing the dirty dudes in our video, let us know down below. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button for us. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers already. You guys are crazy. Thank you so much. And other than that, we'll see you next Friday. Peace. Action. Oh, Robert. <laughs> no, Linda. Like the... Right, like Dora. We're both We're Italian. Italian. <laughs> See? Perfect. Ellie, get out of here! I like oh, that. Two Italian. Two Italian. Right? Uh, <laughs> Ellie, yeah. get out of here! Yeah, it's better. You can't yeah. sound like you're from Dora. No, no, don't, don't sound like you're actually angry at you. It hurts my feelings. Protection. Wait, should we like spray them with something? Like, <laughs> <A> water <laughs> like clean? Like, <laughs> get out, get out, get, get, get out of here! Get, get, get. APC, get APC. Yeah, yeah. Go. Not APC, make it water, you nasty warrior you back. Yeah, <laughs> destroy my eyes. All right, as you guys can see, we're wearing different clothes because it's now day two of this detail. We were supposed to finish yesterday, but we had an unexpected visit from the dirty dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! Oh my god! Uh, so it's not as dirty as some of the cars that... What was that? Dude, I, I have no idea. Oh no. Oh god. It's... it's... <laughs> Friends! All right, guys, so this is the first time we're ever seeing the dirty dudes. So, if you guys want to come around the corner now. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god! Bro! Come here, come here. Come to the camera. <laughs> this is great! Introduce yourselves. Hey, I'm Bert. I'm Mick. <laughs> Dirty dudes. <laughs>